Yo, what's good people? Today is Lydia Day. So today I'm going to show you how to do Lydia's Blue Sparks and Just Frames. Her Blue Sparks and Just Frames are weird because some of them are really not Just Frames. They're just a different input. So for example, if I show you the command history on her political storm, for example, the input is forward one plus two, three, one plus two. But as you can see, it says you can actually power this move up, which is one of her Blue Sparks. Now the power up is just pressing QCF before the one plus two. I'm going to show you the input with no blue spark and now i'm going to show you the input with the blue spark as you can see the blue sparks appeared just before she went into the final two hits her blue sparks have more damage than no blue sparks so i'm going to show you political storm with no blue spark that 38 damage now i'm going to show you with the blue spark 43 damage so Blue sparks are actually important in this game, especially for punishment and for combo damage and optimization, especially because Lydia's combos in this game do have multiple just frames and blue sparks in succession in combos. So it is important that you do learn these blue sparks, but they're not really too difficult. And to be honest, I wouldn't really call them true just frames just because, you know, they're not like an electric where you need to press a button in a certain frame. For example, her QCF2 string has two just frames. So this is the normal version with no blue spark. This is the version with one blue spark. So that's kind of the first power up. The second power up with the double just frame is QCF QCF 2 2. See the first hit was actually a blue spark as well. So this does the most damage. Now a tip I will give you to do this easier is I'm going to switch to the big screen so you can see what my hands are doing. So this move can be quite difficult depending on peripheral. For me, I play levelless and doing QCF, QCF after a dash can be very difficult for me personally. So what I like to do is you can actually buffer QCFs in this game. So what that means is you can store a QCF, do something else, and that first QCF will be stored within the input. So you can do QCF dash. So QCF forward will give you a dash here and a second QCF2 will give you a blue spark, as you can see. So this is useful for doing this as a combo ender mid screen, or if you want to use it for wall carry, for example. It becomes really easy once you get the muscle memory down to do that input. Okay, we're going to run through some of her blue sparks. I'm going to switch back to the big game again. I'm going to actually show you the moves without the blue spark. So three, two, as you can see. So this is her 15 frame launcher, which does the most damage. She does have hop kick, but she doesn't really get great damage from this. So I would stick to three, two as her 15 frame launcher. We've got back two, three. This does have a blue spark variant as well. We've got cat stance two, two, which has a blue spark variant. We've got back four, three, one plus two, which also has a blue spark variant. And then we have her sabakis. So up one, which is a high parry. And then we have her generic parry, which is back one plus three or back two plus four. So now I'm going to show you the blue spark variants of all these moves. So let's start with 3-2. Back 2-3. Cat stance 2-2. Two, two. Not too difficult. It's just timing, honestly. But I'm going to show you the timing later on in the video. Back 3-4. 1 plus 2. Now to do the blue spark of this move you have to press qcf one plus two so back three four qcf one plus two this one isn't too difficult you can also delay the string as well as you can see this is useful for wall combos for example like this to get the maximum scaling if you do two hits to screw you don't have to delay the string so i'm going to show you what that looks like see what i mean so you still get the grounded hit even though I didn't delay the string. If I delay it, it's not going to work as a combo. See, she can tech roll out of that. Okay, so as I said before, some of her blue sparks just require a additional QCF. So those moves are political storm, back three, four, QCF one plus two, QCF, QCF two, two, back forward four, one plus two. It has two just frames. So the first just frame is literally just an extra QCF in front of the first QCF because you can do QCF 2 2 like this but if I do QCF QCF 2 2 the first hit is a blue spark so that's just an additional QCF now the second just frame comes from the last input which is the one plus two so you can actually buffer the first QCF required for the first just frame 
So QCF forward gives you a dash. Another QCF gives you a blue spark. So you don't have to press QCF, QCF like that. You can actually press like QCF sidestep, QCF2. And you will still get the input as well. So similar concept to dashing. So that's also another piece of advice I'd give you. So what that looks like in practice is like this. So as you can see, I dashed in the combo, but I still got the just frame. Now, if I was not to do the buffer method, it would be very difficult to do dash QCF QCF. It's just very unnatural for me, especially on levelers. I'm going to switch to the big screen so you can actually see my inputs as well and what I'm doing. So again, this just frame for the QCF 2 2 string is the first just frame is double QCF. So QCF QCF 2, you'll get the first blue spot. The second blue spot comes with the last input, the one plus two. You have to press back forward forward one plus two. So those just frames all together. So the easy way now to do this in combos is QCF forward to get a dash. That's the first just frame. QCF forward, QCF two, as you can see. Blend all together and you get the two just frames. Similarly with back three, four, one plus two. You can do just frame by pressing QCF one plus two. Easy one to be honest, it's just literally QCF one plus two instead of one plus two. Similarly with political storm, four, one plus two, three, one plus two. But to get the just frame, you press QCF one plus two, as you can see. So those are the easy ones. The harder ones now come with precise button inputs. So now we're gonna look at three, two. So this is with no just frame. I just mashed it, as you can see, no timing. So now I'm gonna time it. So, so there's a slight delay, as you can see there. The next one is back two, three. So this is with no timing. And the one piece of advice I would give you is try not to be too early. Try and slightly delay your inputs. And so the advice I'd give you is as soon as Lydia's leg touches the opponent, press two. So that's how you're going to get the just frame. Try and press two as the kick is hitting, but don't press it too early and don't press it too late. Although to be honest, pressing it too late is difficult because, you know, the just frame is already very late in the cancelable window anyway. So pressing it too late is difficult. I'm trying to press it too late and I'm, I'm struggling. Okay, so I pressed it way too late there, but you have to press it late anyway to get the just frame. So you'd rather be too late than too early, right? So you can't mash it as well. Don't don't mash because you're not going to be consistent with these just frames if you try and mash inputs like that. The timing is as soon as Lydia's leg touches the opponent, press two, as you can see, very consistent. So let's look at back two, three. As soon as Lydia's arm touches the opponent, you press three. So it's really not that difficult to do. It's just timing. But again, look at when her limbs are touching the opponent and then press the input. Don't press it too early. Don't press it too late. Cause you can delay the string as well, like that. And this is actually very common in Lydia's combos as well. So this is an important one to learn. So is this one as her 15 frame punish because hop kick doesn't net her as much damage as three, two. So definitely get used to the timing on these ones. The next one is cat stance two, two. So again, Wait until the limb hits like this. Don't mash it out. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna mess up the input, it's better to be too late than to be too early because too early, you're never gonna get the input. See? You're never gonna get the input. But this is the just frame. You wanna be pressing two as the limb touches. So as this limb touches, you press two. As you can see really not hard but again don't mash the input and if you're gonna mess up the input try and be too late rather than too early so again i was too late there so as the limb touches we want to be pressing two like this okay the next just frames that lydia has are her parries so she has a high attack parry which is well can be done with a few different inputs you can press up one up forward one or back one all give you the same move so we're gonna actually record Lydia to do a sequence, just some jabs.
So that's her blue spark. This one is a little bit tricky, but as I said, you must press two when the elbow actually hits. Once you sabakied the opponent and she does the spinning elbow. Once the elbow hits, as soon as the elbow touches, press two. So this one is, is a tight parry, to be honest. The second one she has is her generic parry, which is back one plus three or back two plus four. So that's her blue spark. So I'm gonna actually switch to the big screen so you can see my inputs and timing on the parries. Cause it doesn't actually show you in the move list, which is a bit strange, but yeah, that's the timing for her parry. And I'm gonna show you the other Sabaki as well, this one. So let's show you the timing. Yeah. Yeah, that's her blue spark timing for her parries and Sabakis. It is tight to be honest, much more difficult than, you know, her moves that have blue sparks. Like this, for example, or this one. Like way harder. So yeah, her moves that you actually use in combos are much, much easier. See? So all of her blue sparks are easier. So I hope this video on Lydia's Tabakis and Paris helped you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try and help. I mean, my advice to you would just be play around with timings, really. I mean, once you've hit that timing a couple of times, like with stuff like three, two, it is difficult to mess it up in, in matches because you kind of, it, it becomes muscle memory. You might fail it every now and then, but yeah, very consistent. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. Peace.